Hello, we have just added a new integration feature and we have a ton of integrations already, but if you're one of those people who uses an email service provider or a CRM that has been left out in the cold because we haven't added your integration yet, I apologize for that, but um, hopefully this will make up for it. We have an HTML form integration now which means that if your email service provider or CRM allows you to create a form that your prospects can submit to get customer information into your email service provider or CRM, then there's a really good chance that it integrates with Socialmonials now because you can actually grab that HTML code for the form and add it to Socialmonials and it only takes a couple minutes to do. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. I'm going to use Mautic, I might be pronouncing that wrong, and ConvertKit as our examples today, but there's a good chance it also works for whatever you happen to be using. To use this integration, the first thing you're going to do is go over to Integrations, and you'll notice there's a new one up here at the top called HTML Form Integration. Notice we, we have Zapier. Some people don't like this universal integration because they do charge money and the HTL forum one is free and also note that we do have um, an integration for webhooks but not all email service providers provide a webhook interface so what we're going to do to add convert kit is I'm going to jump into my convert kit dashboard and let's go to landing pages and forms Note that if you don't use ConvertKit, this is still interesting. Stay with us, watch how this works because it's probably very similar with your provider. Um, you might need to go into your provider's chat and ask them real quick, how do I get HTML for a form? How do I create a form? Whatever the question will be. Um, work with your provider in order to get that. But um, again, I'm in ConvertKit, jump into landing pages and forms. I already have a form created, so I am going to click this. And what they allow us to do is embed the form. So when I click embed, it's going to give me all these different options. In general, JavaScript is not going to work. You're going to need HTML. So I'm going to click HTML and copy this entire form. Now I'm going to go back to Socialmonials click HTML form, simply paste all of that HTML. Don't worry about what it looks like. I know it looks ugly, but it's going to get a lot cleaner in a minute. Click step two, map fields. So Socialmonials just parsed through all of that ugly HTML and found reason within the chaos, right? We went in and extracted the first name and the email address fields from all of that ugly HTML. So if your form back at ConvertKit had five different fields, all five of those fields would be listed here and you'd be able to map it to Socialmonials fields here, just like with our other native integrations. So let's do that. We have a first name. I'm gonna map that to the first name field in our Socialmonials database. We have an email address from ConvertKit, which we are going to map to our email address within Socialmonials. And I'm going to ignore this down below. This is the post URL for HTML form. We automatically grab this for you, so you don't need to be a programmer to use this. We're done. As you can see up the top right, it already saved it automatically. So I can jump straight into a campaign. And let me show you the final setup. Within any one of your campaigns, you can map that HTML form to your campaign. So now that we're in settings, it asks for a submission form and it also asks for your list integration. So all I would need to do is select HTML form. Now this campaign is mapped to ConvertKit via the HTML form. That's it. Now when anybody submits to this campaign, it's going to go into the Socialmonials database and it's also going to go into ConvertKit. Let's try this for Mautic. I'm going to jump in to my Mautic dashboard, and it works a little differently here. I 
chose one that's a little trickier just so I can show you how to do this. I'm going to go, instead of forms, I'm going to go straight into landing pages. So once you have a landing page, let's take the webinar sign up. This is a little more complex of one. And here is the page URL. I'm going to actually go to a landing page. Wow, this doesn't look at all like what, what was provided with ConvertKit, right? This is a complete standalone page, but I can still grab this HTML form by doing the following. Right click anywhere in the page, select view page source, and hit Control F or Alt F if you're on a Mac. And what I wanna search for is open bracket form. And what that's gonna do is take me directly to the beginning of the HTML form for this landing page. Now I need to look for the ending tag, which I'm gonna scroll down and look for manually, because it's usually not too far down. Here it is. So this slash form right here, indicates this is the end of the form tag. So I'm gonna start copying, which you have gotta include the, um, the end form tag, and go all the way back up and start at the opening form tag. Copy, go back to Sociomonials. I'm gonna head into integrations. Let's remove the ConvertKit integration hit HTML form, and paste all of that HTML in here. Remember, you have to include the end form tag and you have to include the beginning form tag. Now let's map the fields. Wow, there are a lot of fields on this, and that's fine. We can handle unlimited fields. So this webinar signup form is now integrated with our Sociomonials database. All we have left to do is map the fields. I want to note that there are some fixed value fields that we had to create for you. Just ignore them. These are um, Mautic form fields that are required by Mautic for security reasons. But we did the legwork for you. We figured, figured out what those were and we automatically updated them. So the only fields that you need to map are the ones that map to actual Sociomonials fields. So this one has a company size field. I don't have a company size field in Sociomonials. So what I would need to do is go and create a field in my Sociomonials campaign for company size, and then I can add that. So for now, I'm going to leave that blank. First name I do have, so I'll just map the fields that I can map. Last name, company, I do have that field. I don't have job position yet. I'll need to go add that. And then I have email here. So let's go and add the email field. Product I don't have. Form ID, return, and form name. These are all um, Mautic specific, so I don't need to map those or do anything. So we're done. Now when I create a Sociomonials campaign, it's going to extract the first, last company and email from my Sociomonials form and then it's going to push these into the Mautic um, database as well. So with this example, I probably wouldn't have created this form within Mautic. This is a very complicated webinar signup form with a lot of questions. If you don't want to ask all of these questions in your Sociomonials campaign, then don't use such a complicated Mautic form. I would go into my Mautic account and I would create a new form that only had the fields that I needed to ask in my Sociomonials form. That way it's more a one-to-one -one Passover instead of trying to create a really complicated Mautic form when you don't have all those fields um, needed for your Sociomonials form. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's why we have customer support. If you um, run into any trouble doing this, please let us know. Uh, but again, if your particular email service provider um, has form creation capability, please reach out to them and ask them how to create a form. And uh, once you do that, reach out to us if you have trouble getting that form integrated with Sociomonials. Good luck, everyone. And if you have questions, reach out. Thank you.